hi everyone this is MJ welcome back to my channel and uh, I just want to share with you guys uh, how to make picadillo it's a Mexican uh, you know uh, style but uh, my mom you always cook this in our country in the Philippines in San Fernando Pampanga and we call it torta so we have uh, a different like style so uh, I'm going to show you how to make it and I uh, cook it in a healthy way. Okay, come on, join me. tablespoon of this okay the smell is not good it's like uh, you know like a uh, rotten fish <laughs> but it's it's really good in the food okay so look at that Just gonna simmer it for at least uh, five minutes. Okay, so let's just wait. So some people they uh, use uh, like uh, the beef broth or the beef uh, stock to you know to put it here, but uh, I use a uh, fish uh, sauce, patties. So. And now we're gonna stir it. So. My uh, ground beef, I use uh, this kind of ground. Okay, I'll show you what kind of ground do I use. So. I use this kind of ground. Uh, this uh, this uh, extra lean ground beef can you see it so it's 99% uh, uh, this one 99% lean and 4% fat so this is the brand so my son uh, always eat this for his protein, like I cook it with uh, 12 spices. So he eats like uh, two cups of this every day. It has like uh, how many calories? So it has uh, like uh, 140 calories. But it's a good source of protein because it has 24 grams of uh, Protein. So we use this kind of meat, uh, like uh, this uh, lean meat, so 
because it's only have 4% uh, fat and 96% lean. So again, this is the brand. So I use two of this, like uh, one pound each. So it's two pounds. It's like, again, it's uh, 9.99, it's $20, okay? So let's see if it's, uh, you know, boiling. Then we're gonna put this one. So my ground beef, I uh, marinate it with the uh, soy sauce and lemon and uh, like boil it, cook it because I don't want the aftertaste. So I'll show you. So this is my uh, meat. So we're just gonna put the meat here, okay? the meat so I marinate it for like I overnight it so then I, I cook it so that there's no taste bad or after taste The remaining uh, ground beef. So again, I'm not gonna put uh, any soy sauce, but some people they put uh, soy sauce, you know, while cooking it. I already, you know, put the soy sauce when I marinated it with the lemon. So I don't need to put any soy sauce. Okay. And then just uh, mix, combine together, blend it. Simmer it. Okay, look. Let's simmer it first, okay? Then I'm just gonna get my uh, uh, 12 uh, seasoning. Just wait, I'm just gonna show you what I put here. This is our porta, porta, porta. Nice, see it. Now I'm gonna put the, you know, the sauce.
this one I use this kind of seasoning uh, 21 seasoning salute so it has uh, 21 spices onion black pepper celery seed cayenne pepper parsley parsley or basil marjoram bay leaf oregano thyme uh, rosemary cumin mustard coriander garlic carrot orange peel tomato granules lemon juice powder oil of lemon citric acid and savory so this is a uh, 21 seasoning salute spices of the world from trader joe's so i use this in my piccadilly so, so this one so this this one spices Okay, so I'm gonna put. Uh, I uh, use the one big potato and uh, chop it, and uh, carrots like uh, two carrots, big carrots, and chop it also. Let's this uh, with this one together. Okay. the big uh, bell pepper and I uh, like uh, diced it so look at that Okay, I'm just gonna get uh, another batch of uh, 21 seasoning because I ran out. I'll be back, okay? Let's watch the piccadilly. Again, this is a 21 seasoning. This is my last stock, so I'll buy uh, next uh, grocery shopping. So again, I'm just gonna put this one. It's really good for the food. 
And then, I have another technique, the garlic powder. But I already put a lot of garlic, but I will taste it. More flavoring. This is my technique and my picadillo. Okay. A little bit of uh, olive oil. Picadillo, look at it, it's beautiful. Right? Right, so we're gonna simmer it for 10 minutes and I'm gonna show you the product, finished product of my Picadillo. Okay, just wait and we're almost done. Okay. I think it's uh, let's just uh, give it a try, okay? Let's see, let's see, it's very cool. Again, it's this is like the asado chicken and uh, chicken adobo, and it's. Uh, like uh, two to five days, the taste is really good because uh, it absorbs all the ingredients, the aroma, and all the flavor is so good. Requested this. And then on Father's Day, you can cook this with the uh, egg. Okay. I'm sweating, you know. Okay, let's uh, get some and uh, we'll see if it's already cooked. Get, uh, let's taste it, okay? I'm just gonna taste the bun color. guys see you can cook this again it only costs now I think it's good my estimate okay so you can eat this for how many days again with rice with eggs and uh, with red wine <laughs> okay. so, it's really good it's really good Yes. 
tonight. Okay, now it's uh, my time to taste my food, guys. Taste it. my peccadillo can you see it it's the stage again it's hot it's very careful okay okay some uh, they put the uh, raisin uh green peas uh like that garbanzos or all or like olives but uh, my family, they don't like the olives, uh, raisin, uh, green peas, so we just you know, waste it if you put it there. So I just put whatever they want in my piccadillo. Again, my technique is the 21 seasoning spices from Trader Joe's. Olive oil, and I don't put uh, water on it. And... Uh, no salt so, it's only a little bit of fish juice. okay now let's taste it come on join me ciao that's really good sometimes i um fry the potatoes and uh, carrots you know and before I saute it but now I tried the other version that you just pour it and boil it or simmer it huh? mm, real good mm. you know the flavor so good you should buy that. It's only um, like a dollar ninety nine in trade as well. So you can put it in your meat, fish. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm. I'm almost gonna finish. But you guys, thank you for watching. If you like my. Uh, video tonight again don't forget to like subscribe share uh, thumbs up and leave your comment below till next time uh, have a blessed night god loves you be safe i love you bye bye